Hi there, this is just going to be a quick update video with Fazite on the Legion Go. So previously before, um, this refresh rate slider um, was buggy and it didn't work before, but now basically Fazite has um, made some changes where now basically it'll work as expected. So you got, you know, you could have it naturally change between all the refresh rates and FPSs and it'll work fine. Um, right now in Steam UI, this doesn't affect anything because Steam um, ignores it, but in actual games, this slider will work. So um, for anyone that was previously on Bazite, you'll need to update to the latest Bazite OS. So you should update, and then afterwards in the settings, go into display, go all the way to the bottom, and re-enable the unified frame limit management. Once you enable that, then it'll work. So I'll just go into a game and show it to you real quick so you see it's working. So here's a um, simple game where up here you can see that it's at 100 FPS right now. And what I'll do is I'll start just going down the frame limit and you can see a change. So if I hit 72, it goes to 72 FPS, 60, the screen will flash, change to 60 Hertz. Go back to 48, it'll go back to 144 Hertz. You can just keep going down. You'll see it change back and forth between the refresh rates and set the appropriate frame limit. So but anyways, um, yeah, the slider is now working again. As for the next thing, um, for anyone that has seen one of my previous videos, I, um, you get Android working. So here I have Android um, within game mode uh, using Wajoid. And I said I was going to make a tutorial video, and I still will. But there's actually now, if you go to the Bazite discourse um, down here, they have, uh, where is it? There's a Wajoid configuration guide that's been updated. And the new updated guide um, is pretty comprehensive now. So you could actually use this guide to set up everything, including like G apps and and other things. So you should look here and you can follow this guide to get it working. I'll still make a video for it, um, but nonetheless, um, you could now follow this guide to get Wajoid working. One, over thing, one other thing to go over real quick is how now there's been an announcement on the discourse for the Legion Go, where basically here it says that um, with, the, um, with the recent refresh rate slider fix, basically the Legion Go is feature complete. Basically, all the major functionality works. Like, you know, all the hardware buttons work, the gyro works, the back buttons work, um, TDP control works, um, you know, refresh rate limiter works. Basically, everything is fully functional um, that um, you need for your day to day usage. So, yeah, if you want a Steam Deck alternative, the Legion Go with Bazite actually works pretty well now. So, one last thing. So, in game mode previously, um, there was a recent update on Bazite that lets you do a swipe gesture to swipe out the home menu or the quick access menu. Um, but for some people, they find that when they're playing their games, they might accidentally trigger that, sw that swipe gesture, right? Um, and actually accidentally pull up the menu. So you'll want to disable it. Um, I've already disabled it for now, just to show it that it, uh, dis disabling works. But basically um, for to do that, there's gonna be this script in the Legion Go Tricks site, um, which is going to dis there's just disable swipe gestures. And what this will do is it'll create this file and at this file path. And this file path will just have this um, disabled touch gestures enabled. So if you run this script, it will create this file and um, lets you disable the, the touch gestures. And if you ever want to undo that change and get the, the swipe gestures back, um, what you could do is just delete that file. So if you delete that file um, and then restart game mode, um, the swipe gestures should come back. Anyways, that's it. Just a quick update video on Bazite on the Legion Go.